Serious concerns about flawed methods and missing data have put Google's high-profile Nature article on AI and chip design under intense scrutiny. Now, one expert has uncovered significant errors, calling the credibility of the research into question. Join us as we speak with Igor Markov to discuss reevaluating Google's reinforcement learning for IC macro placement. The purpose of my paper is to set the record straight about the publication from Google uh, in Nature. It had so many red flags that I wondered how it got published in the first place. And when I dug deeper, I found multiple lapses of scientific integrity. Integrity is crucial to scientific progress. Here, the issue runs deeper than the research itself. For context, uh, the Nature paper addresses a um, chip design challenge that was studied for about 25 years, finding locations of chip components within a fixed outline. They used a fairly recent method called deep reinforcement learning, and this is why it was so attractive, so interesting. After Google researchers claimed early uh, success, there were some disagreements at Google whether the results were real. And uh, the word uh, fraud was used as instructed by the California whistleblower laws. However, the team went ahead and published uh, the paper in Nature somehow. And after that, Google fired a whistleblower who repeatedly raised alarms about the scientific integrity and the correctness of the results in this paper. Further investigation revealed a process that overlooked critical issues, leading to a breakdown in trust and calling the reputation of top tech companies into question. My work enumerates issues with the Nature paper. For example, the claim in the title, Fast Chip Design, was not substantiated adequately. Even with the available data in the paper, uh, one cannot reliably draw conclusions. The research methodology had obvious flaws. Several algorithmic components were over 20 years old and uh, known to handicap optimization. The authors cherry-picked baselines and test cases. They neglected the request from one of the reviewers to provide results on public benchmarks. In fact, uh, the Google technique did poorly in comparison to human designers, to commercial software, and to prior methods, each. The more I dug into this, the worse it looked. This controversy shows the need for greater scrutiny in how research from influential companies is handled. Nature papers get retracted even for more subtle issues such as image duplication. And here we easily have half a dozen independent serious problems with the paper and uh, scientific integrity. The uh, reviewer who wrote a one-pager introducing the Google paper withdrew his one-pager from Nature, and after he asked for a retraction, Nature published an editor's note informing that the Google paper was under investigation. In the meantime, multiple researchers in the field asked Nature editors to investigate the paper and some asked for retraction, so perhaps now more people need to insist on retraction, or at least a conclusion. The saga with the Google Nature paper has been bitter and even divisive. It won't be resolved by looking the other way, and uh, especially by personal attacks. The computer science community needs to understand the flaws of the Nature paper. The editors uh, in Nature must uh, do their duty, and professional societies such as ACM also have an important role to play in maintaining scientific integrity. Find out more in Reevaluating Google's Reinforcement Learning for IC Macro Placement, a research article in the November 2024 Communications of the ACM.